guys welcome back to my channel Chloe here and for today's video I am gonna give you guys a doll haul if you did not know I collect dolls I'll get more into it in another video but for today's video I have found some amazing dolls to add to my collection I am super excited I have been waiting a while to film this video they've been piling up if you are a doll collector yourself let me know in the comments what is your favorite doll line like what is the doll line that just like speaks to you but before we get started if you would be so kindly to like comment and share this video make sure to go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already we are so close to hitting 100 subscribers and you guys know or if you did not know i will remind you when we hit 100 subscribers i will be doing a giveaway so you do not want to miss that you do not want to miss that Okay, but without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into the video. So, we are not going to go in any particular order. I'm just going to start grabbing dolls that are all right here. And I'm going to start with the doll line that I really don't collect. But the only reason I bought was because, if you guys know me, you know I love piggies. Especially piggies with wings. You guys know I am all about that. And the dolls that I picked up are these enchantable dolls right here. I hope you guys can kind of see. Sorry about the glare. But yeah, I think she's super cute. Um, she's a little piggy girl and she has like little piggy friends. They're gonna live in their box like this on display on my piggy shelf. But this was the first set and this is the second set. And she also comes with little piggy friends and they're taking a bath and they're cooking here. So I just thought these were super cute. Like I said, I don't really collect enchantables, but if it's a pig, most likely I'm gonna buy it. It's super, super cute. I thought these were adorable. Um, I bought one of them on Amazon and the other one on eBay, if you guys were wondering. Um, but yeah, super duper cute, super adorable, and they're gonna look amazing in my doll collection. The next item I'm gonna show you guys, I bought it at Walgreens, pretty random, but the only reason I picked it up was because it was Barbie themed. I don't know about you guys, but I love Hot Wheels, especially when they come out with cool collaborations like this. How cool is this? It is a Barbie RV Hot Wheels car. I think this is super amazing. One of the main reasons I bought it was because it reminded me of when my sister and I were younger and we had a Barbie RV and we were obsessed with it. Um, but yeah, I just thought that I'd get it for my collection. I just think it's something so unique, so different. And I love it when Hot Wheels does collaborations with other brands. I just think it's like super awesome. But picked up this at Walgreens. Next, I'm going to hop into the only other Barbie item that I bought. The dolls that I picked up were this Mycene doll. I am not 100% sure which specific Mycene doll it is. It could be Kennedy, it could be Barbie. I am not 100% sure, so don't kill me, but um, I just thought she was super pretty. Um, I rebodied her. I gave her a made-to-move Barbie body. She's going to be my mini-me, and she's wearing an outfit that I custom-made for her. I've never owned a Mycene doll, and I've always wanted one, but if you guys, if you guys are into collecting dolls, and you guys constantly check up on dolls you guys would know right now the doll market is crazy anything micing anything brat anything monster high anything ever after high it's crazy pricey right now the next doll i bought oh my god you guys i'm so excited to show you guys so as you guys know i love brats and my favorite character is chloe hence why i decided to change my name to chloe but it is first edition chloe She's wearing her original shoes and her original uh, skirt. I had to give her a new top and she's wearing this cute little jacket. I did not think I was going to own a first edition Chloe uh, because they're hella expensive. Like I said, Bratz, especially the first Bratz, crazy expensive, you guys. So for me to actually have her is like a miracle. And I thought this was so perfect. Like ugh. The next doll that I picked up from the lot was this 2004 Happy New Year, Yasmin! I didn't even think I was gonna get the box because in the picture, she didn't show the box. But, oh my god, you guys, she's gorgeous. I'm gonna bring this down because of the glare. But how freaking pretty is she? She came with her second pair of shoes and then she also came with more accessories. But is she not so freaking gorgeous? The main reason I bought her was for my sister. My sister Yanelli is a New Year's baby and her favorite character growing up was Yasmin. So I just thought this would be super cool for her to have and display. But that was the lot from the girl. I think her name was Erin. 
I could be wrong um but thank you Erin and yeah I just thought it was super amazing I was able to get some amazing dolls from her like I said I know $50 is pretty pricey but if you guys look up these dolls on eBay I guarantee you one of them alone is $50. The only other Bratz thing I bought was this Bratz Voice motorcycle. I bought it for $10 on Poshmark and I just think it's super cool. Um, I really love the cars and like the places and stuff, but I don't have a lot of room, so I really can't have them all. And I don't own any Bratz vehicle, so I just thought this was perfect because it's kind of like skinny and small. And um, yeah, I just thought this was kind of cool. I will be displaying this with my Bratz collection, but I thought that was awesome something different so i'm gonna hop into some rainbow high dolls yes i have been obsessed with rainbow high dolls they are super cute super colorful super amazing super fashionable i just love them i love them i love them and when they said collect the rainbow i took it seriously i have bought almost every single doll from rainbow high it's kind of crazy um as you guys know, these dolls are expensive. Well, they're expensive to me. They're $26.99 plus taxes. So they can add up really quickly. So you know me. I'm always trying to find a good deal. And I was on Facebook Marketplace when I found her. She was only $14. It is so crazy, but you already know I picked her up. And it is Miss Violet Willow. Oh my god, you guys. I can't believe I found her for $14 what even I don't know if she was stolen I don't know where she came from but I am happy that she is mine um yeah th this is so crazy I can't believe I own her yay for $14 girl you know that's a steal so that was Miss Violet and then I was on Amazon like a while back I don't know what Amazon was doing but I'm glad they did it basically they had most of the Rainbow High Dolls on sale for $20.99 so you were already saving six dollars and then for some reason if you once you added them to your cart there was an additional like four dollars three dollars and some cents i'm not 100 percent sure they ended up being 17 dollars and i was like okay this is my moment to grab some i was gonna grab the last four i needed to complete my rainbow high collection as of now you know because they haven't released anything new but I decided to just go with two because, girl, it was going to be a lot of money. So I decided to just grab two. And I picked up the last one that I needed from Series 1, which is Miss Jade. And, oh, she's really pretty. She was the last one I needed from Series 1. You guys can kind of see Series 1 back here. Oh, it's so holographic. I'm sorry about the, like, glares. Sorry, um, but yeah, she was the last one I needed from Series 1. And then I decided to get uh, one of the Series 2 dolls. And I decided to get, of course, the pink one, Miss uh, Stella Monroe. And oh, I am so happy I did get her. She's so freaking pretty. Uh, I'm telling you guys, these dolls are so fashionable. Like, girl, they turn out looks. They really do turn out looks. And now I just need Karma and Amaya from Series 2. And I would have completed the rainbow as of now so we're getting down to the last doll line i'm gonna show you guys something that i bought literally last week and i literally got it yesterday so i was on ebay and i had been on the lookout for the ever after high briar beauty throne coming play set and i only wanted the play set because it's shaped like a book i know i'm weird i'm crazy yeah that was the only thing I wanted. I didn't even want the doll. I just wanted the playset for the book. And I finally found it! So this is what it looks like. So it looks like a giant book. Which I think it's so creative. And yeah. I literally only wanted it because it looks like a book. And I have the Lizzie Hearts playset. And it also looks like a book. And I was like, well they only ever released two book playsets. So I might as well get both. Uh, but as you guys know, Ever After High is pretty expensive on eBay. It's pretty hard to find anything pretty reasonably priced. I'm surprised this lasted this long on my wish list because typically when I add something on my wish list and it's pretty cheap, it'll literally sell out within days. This was in there for probably a month and I can't believe it. I paid $15 including shipping and taxes. Um, the playset itself was like $5 and then everything else is basically shipping and taxes so 
I just thought that was really cool. So, yeah. So now we are going to hop into some Monster High dolls. Yes, Monster High. We love Monster High here. So, yeah. Anyways. So, like how I've been saying this whole time, Monster High is so expensive to buy from a third-party seller. Literally, dolls are going for over hundreds of dollars. It is ridiculous what these scalpers are doing. I'll get more into it in another video because it's ridiculous. I ended up finding this doll a while back on Poshmark, and she was, I believe, $15, and she was almost fully complete, so... I am talking about Miss Jane Boo Little from the Gloom and Bloom line. I think they only ever made like two to three dolls of her. And this is my favorite Jane Boo Little doll. So this is the one that's going in my collection. The only thing wrong with her is she's missing, I think, like a flower on her hair. And she's missing an arm. So, I mean, this is what $15 will get you for a Monster High doll nowadays. Um, I mean, I can always buy her another arm. That's no problem. And I don't care much about the flower. I don't care much about the other accessories. I just really wanted this Jane Boo Little. And at the time, they were really expensive. And I'm so glad I found her for the price I did, honestly. And she's really pretty. Some of these dolls I already, like, washed and cleaned. So, if you guys see, like, their hair looking, like, really pretty, it's because I already washed it and styled it and cleaned it. So, another doll that I bought from Poshmark was this LED doll. So she is from the Boo York, Boo York line. But basically, she was only missing her boots. So I just gave her these boots. I think they're pretty cute too, so whatever. And she's like really wobbly. Like she's really wobbly, so that sucked. And her hair is like really puffy, so I have to style it better. But I'm glad I have her. Oh my God, you guys. The three pack for these dolls is crazy expensive on eBay. I was this close of paying $125 to get, like, the brand new set in box. But then I told myself, why would I spend that much money on three dolls? That is crazy. I ended up buying her for $10, I think, on Poshmark. And I thought that was fine. That was perfect. So, because I bought her, that means I have to buy all the other girls uh, separately. So, that's going to be a struggle. But I was fortunate enough to find Mouse Sadie's. She needs a beauty treatment because she is not, she's not having it. She's missing her headband and her tail. Again, I don't really care. I mean, maybe the tail, I'll find another one later on. But for now, I think she's fine. This is the other one from the three pack. And now I just need Luna. And that girl's hard to find. And when you do find her, she is over, I want to say like over $30 to $40 just for that one doll. That's insane so a doll line that i'm so happy i was able to complete um in my eyes this is completing the doll line and so this is the freaky fusion line and they came out with four new characters and it was the hybrids so i was able to buy all of them so i picked up miss serena bamboo from poshmark yes for a while, I was finding a lot of dolls on Poshmark, and that is crazy to me. Again, she has crazy poofy hair. I need to style it better. Um, and she's a mermaid ghost. And she was probably my favorite one when this line came out because, I don't know, she's, like, super cute. I love her. And then I was also able to find Mr. Nathan Rott. He is my least favorite from this line. I think that the unicorn zombie... Um, mixture was not it for me. They should have stuck to like maybe two colors because they decided to do blue, yellow, and red. I think that's just so much, especially like adding it on his hair. And I don't know, he's my least favorite, but I was able to find him on eBay. He was pretty cheap as well. This is the other one that I was telling you guys about. So she is part, <sighs> I forgot. I think she's like part horse, part bird. I'm not sure. But, um, I think she's actually pretty cool. A lot of people don't like her, but I personally think she's, she's really cool. I mean, she's literally a centaur. Like, I think that's pretty awesome. Uh, the only thing she was missing is her wings. Like I said, you guys, a lot of these dolls are missing parts, but that's only because I'm buying them from third-party sellers, and they've been opened, and I'm pretty sure some of these have even been played with, so it sucks, but... I'm on a budget and I got to do what I got to do, you know. 
she is missing her wings but i think she looks super cool she's actually like i love that all this is posable i think that's so awesome and the last one from the characters from the freaky fusion line that i wanted to buy was miss bonita femur she is the daughter of the mothman and a skeleton and at first, you can't really tell that she's part skeleton until you take off her outfit. She's literally a skeleton. And then, like, you can tell with her arms. Hopefully, you guys are going to be able to see this. But you can kind of tell with her arm that she is part skeleton. I thought that was so cool. She's she's probably my favorite. Yeah, her, then Serena, then Avia. Oh, by the way, her name was Avia Trotter. But, um, yeah. Yeah. She would be my favorite, then Serena, then Avia Trotter, and then Nathan Rod. Anyways, um, I just thought she was so pretty. I don't know. I love it. I love that these giant wings, like, she can stand with the wings. That was, like, the whole gimmick of these dolls. Except for Nathan, they were all able to stand without a doll stand. So, I thought that was pretty awesome. And can we get into this high ponytail moment? Like... She is giving you Miss Ariana Grande vibes. And like, wow, this ponytail is super crazy long. But I thought she was pretty cool. I bought her on eBay. So I bought her on eBay. And I was glad to find one with wings because most of the ones that were cheap did not come with wings. And when I found her, um, I was so happy, honestly. It was like, oh my god. I was able to get... The four fusions that I needed from Freaky Fusion to add to my collection. Okay, you guys, we've made it to the end of the video. I'm about to show you guys the last dolls. I'm so happy to own these dolls because let me tell you, these dolls are expensive to get. And I was able to find them yet again on Facebook Marketplace. So this seller was telling me that his daughter had like outgrown Monster High and they were about to move. So they were selling all of the Monster High dolls. Oh my god, what a dream to be able to buy all of them. But the only thing about this seller is that they were selling them at scalper prices. Because, I mean, I guess it's only natural to look up the item that you're selling to see how much it's going for. And they did that. And of course, they saw all of the eBay listings. And they were like 100 and 90 and 80 and 50 and... 200 like ugh, you know they saw those prices and yeah they were basically selling these dolls for that amount of money but he did say that the dolls that he was pricing at like 20 and 30 and 40 dollars were dolls that he saw that weren't really selling as much so i was able to get the home make double the recipe heath and abby two pack set oh what even so when this set came out, I originally wanted it because I wanted Heath. At the time, this was the only Heath that they had made in doll form. And they took forever to make Heath, which I found surprising. Because he appears in like the very beginning of Monster High. But they finally were able to take him out in this set. And I wanted it. I really didn't care much about Abby. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love Abby. She is everything to me. Uh, but this particular Abby is not my favorite Abby, so I wasn't worried about the Abby doll. And I tried to find Heath by himself. He was going for like 30 to 40 to 50 dollars, like crazy amount of money. And I decided to look up for like the two pack because it might be around the same price. And if I could get Abby, then I might as well. But basically, I found one where they were out of box and they were going for like 40 dollars. And I was going to buy it. But then I saw that the guy on Facebook was selling them for $30 in box. In box. Mint condition. I'm going to feel so bad when I have to take them out of the box. I almost don't want to. But I really want to display Heath with the rest of the dolls. Um, how amazing. So those were all of the dolls that I have purchased. Expect more doll content because I personally love dolls. Oh, they inspire me in fashion and makeup and just in all sorts of ways. And I cannot wait until I get more and do more videos and show you guys. Yeah, today's video was pretty different and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So yeah, make sure to go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, Goodbye, my angels.